welcome back to talk about the TCP fin scan, null scan and Xmas, uh, Christmas scan. For these three type of scans uh, are uh, the exploit a subtle loophole in the TCP RFC that is a request for comments to differentiate between open and closed ports. So in the RFC uh, uh, technique, uh, in the RFC, it is either a document that contains either notes or the technical specification covering a given technology or standard. So in the RFC page uh, 65 uh, of RFC 793 says that if the port state is closed, an incoming segment not containing a RST that cause a RST to be sent in response. So then the uh, next uh, page discussion packets uh, discusses packets sent to open ports without the sign bit, RST bit or acknowledge bit or ACK bit set that's stating that you are unlikely to get here but if you do, drop the segment and return. So when scanning systems, uh, you know, uh, complaint with the RFC text, any packets not containing signed request or uh, um, signed or your fin bit push or your sign or ACK bits will result in return the RST if the port is closed and no response at all if the port is open. So as long as none of these, uh, those three bits are included, any combination of other three like fin, push and your ORG packet flag bits, nmap exploits this with three scan types like null scan, fin scan and your one is your Christmas scan. So, in this, uh, uh, sorry, Christmas scan, your uh, fin bit or push or org flag, uh, packet flags are set to on. So, that is as a result, the packets has so many flags turned on and the packet is often described as being lit up like a Christmas tree. So the TCP communication and the three-way handshake, it should be clear that a Christmas tree packet is highly unusual because neither sign bits nor act bits are set. So if the system pen testers are scanning uh, you know, has followed this TCP RFC implementation, we can send one of these unusual packet to determine the current state of the port. So, the, the RFC, uh, the TCP RFC says that if a closed port receives a packet that does not have and sign ACK or RST flag set in those flag bits. That is the type of packet that is created from your Christmas tree scan. The port should respond with an RST packet of its own. So the RFC state that if the port is open and it receives a packet without and sign ACK or RST flag set, the packet should be ignored. So in general, the Christmas tree and null scans work against Unix and Linux machines, but not on Windows. So Christmas tree and null scans are rather ineffective against Microsoft targets. So to execute a Christmas tree scan, we simply replace the switches minus uh, SU with the minus X. 
So let us see this practically on the Kali machine. Let me share my machine with you here. Okay. So here, let me just clear the screen. Okay, so for nmap, for instead of giving minus su for your uh, uh, UDP uh, data uh, protocol, we give the minus s for Christmas, we give the minus x. I'll give the target uh, for scanning the ports. So let me just try to scan these ports that, yeah, minus PN, that, uh, 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 that is skipping the host discovery on this particular target and scan these ports like 22, 23, 139 and so and so. This is a number of ports. So here it gives that Instead of, uh, you know, these ports are using the TCP, these are TCP ports, okay? And they are all open filtered, providing different services, SSH, Telnet, Domain, DHCP, and HTTPS. So it gives the information that on the destination side, the uh, firewalls are the uh, uh, intrusion detection or intrusion pre prevention are there so by by giving this x command it shows that these ports are whether they are open or filtered is not clear so in this case if you uh, if you see the scanning of this port let me just give this you can you can find the different uh, let me just filter it to TCP. You can see for the different ports which we have given for this scan purpose, that is 22, 23, 139, 159. So out of this, you are getting the result for 22, 23, 53, 67. You are getting the open or filtered if you observe that by sending this request Okay, uh, it's still scanning the, let me just stop it and rescan. Okay, let me just restart, rescan it for this packet and check the observation here. So from the source to your destination for this particular port, scanning for this port that 23. So in that packet, in Christmas tree, the fin, push and urgent bits are, the, uh, these bits are set, uh, these flags are set to on. When these flags are set to on, then uh, you know, uh, they are bypassing any of the firewall rules and reaching to the destination side. So that means as a result, the packet has many flags turned on and this packet is often described as lit up like a Christmas tree. So TCP communication and three-way handshake, it should be clear that the Christmas tree packet is a highly unusual because neither the sign nor the act flags are set in this case. None of the flags are set. Only the fin push and your flags are set here. Okay. So when the sign or act flags are not set, then these packets are reaching to the destination but not getting any response from the destination side for this particular port, right? So from here, it is clearly that 
the this the, the the TCP RFC says that if a closed port receives a packet that does not have a sign ACK or RST flag set, that port should respond with the RST packet of its own. But here, no packets are responded with the RFT. So that means all the ports on the destination side, they are, uh, you know, the open filtered in the manner. So this is your Christmas tree. And the another one is the null scan. So how to deal with the null scan then? Okay. So in the null scan, by issuing the command, instead of your nmap, I mean Christmas tree, you may give the command that capital N scan this and issue the command and check what happens and this you will find the responses that for all those ports none of the uh, the uh, TCP flag bits are set no flag bits are set for all the sequence numbers so for port number 23 or 22 or 443 or 53 so none is set here so what is uh, there what is happening in this in null scan like christmas tree scan are probes made with packets uh, that violate traditional tcp communication so the null scan is the exact opposite of your christmas tree scan because the null scan utilize packets that are uh, devoid of any flags are completely empty there is no flags here in this okay and to the target systems will respond to null scan in the exact same way they respond to christmas tree scan so an open port on the target system will send no response back to your nmap whereas a closed port will respond with the your arrest so here in this case in this example if you see all are closed port here so let us uh, instead of giving the specific ports let us go and try to scan all ports here I've had the discovery. Let me scan all ports and find out is there any open ports or closed port. And their responses on the wire shock, we'll see. taking much time so let us just scan from the range of the 22 to suppose uh, 8080 Just scan certain range. Give uh, suppose up to two hundred. Don't know how much time because these are all this uh, slow in process to scan. So uh, as said, these scans are only reliable for operating systems that comply hundred percent with the TCP uh, RFC. So one of the main advantage of running Christmas free and null scan is that in some cases you are able to bypass simple filters and access the control list. So some of 
these primitive filters works by blocking inbound uh, the signed packets. So here you can see that it scanned all the uh, 179 scan ports on the scan me and R ignored the states and it finds that 179 open filter TCP ports only there is no response for this. If any response is there means there may be closed port or open ports they will the closed ports will be respond with RST. So if the three-way handshake does not occur, there can be no TCP communication stream between the system or more precisely, no TCP communication can be originated from outside of the filter. So it is important to understand that neither Christmas tree nor the null scan seek to establish any type of communication channels. The whole goal is the scan is to determine if a port is open or closed. If it is open or closed one. So only that reason, uh, you know, these uh, uh, services will be used. So, yeah, this is... Uh, how we use similarly for fin scan we use the for fin scan these are the special one so we use suppose uh, yeah, minus s capital F for fin scan and suppose for specific ports 22.23.11 dot Three, sorry, comma, one thirty nine, comma, suppose eight 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 specific ports. Let us try, and you know check what's the result that we will find. So see for by setting the finishing command, these are all showing that open are filtered, open are filtered. So in this case, you can find the. here the bits the flag bits are set to finish only these so these are sometimes to bypass the uh, any uh, uh, loosely configured filters and target side and uh, the another one is we use the ac uh, the ac scan for ac scan we simply use the Minus s instead of that we use a means the the uh, the acknowledgement bit uh, the flag bit is set to uh, uh, set to one if for those act also we don't find any responses here here you can find the act only the act is set to one okay so these are the the uh, uh, the scanning. So by custom this type of your scanning as the scan flags that sign and fin scan. So uh, by just giving the uh, the sign fin to any Google, let us see the combination here is for custom scan type with your sign uh, the the scan flags the truly. Uh, advanced Nmap users need not limit themselves to the the canned scan one. So to check that, let me just go through the machine. That these the scan flags arguments can be a numerical flags value such as your nine for your push and fin. Uh, but using the symbolic names is easier, easier here. So let us run one command here that the nmap use the scan command minus s use the sign scan followed by the scan flags that you are uh, use the sign fin that sign and fin 
and try to scan we just improve the speed of this scan by giving the minus t4 for a target suppose www.google.com and just check that the pro, uh, uh, on sign fin scan one interesting custom scan type is your sign fin that sometimes a firewall administrator or device manufacturer will attempt to block incoming connections with a rule such as drop any incoming packets with any with only the sign flag set then the limit it to only the sign flag because they don't want to block the sign act packets which are returned as the second step of the ongoing connections here. So the problem with this approach is that most end systems will accept initial sign packets and which contains other non act flags as well. So for uh, the, uh, the NMAP OS fingerprinting system sends a sign fin arg and push packets to an open port so more than half of the fingerprints in the database respond with the sign ACK. So uh, does they allow port scanning with these packets and generally allow making a full TCP scan too? So some systems have even been known to respond with sign ACK to a sign RST packet. So the TCP RFC is ambiguous as to which flags are acceptable in an initial sign packet, though the sign RST certain seems ambiguous. So here you can see that there are thousand ports are scanned for google.com and no filtered TCP ports, that is, you know, thousand filtered TCP ports are there, that is, there is no response the host one is up here okay so these are uh, 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 we call the null scanning fin scanning and your uh, uh, act scanning okay so that is by giving these ports uh, we have seen the various examples for your act scanning also is there any acknowledgements that you are getting means all are filtered so there is no acknowledgement came from them okay yeah so with this i would like to stop the session thank you